Hello and welcome back. As all we know, pivot table is one of the top feature in Excel, which helps the user to view the data in different ways. Suppose if you have the data like this, here's the date and there's a salesperson product discount, number of units sold and the revenue. If you want to know the sales by product or by salesperson or by date or by month or year, then using the pivot table is the best option in Excel. So quickly you can make the summary reports and also you can make the beautiful chart out of those summary reports. This is the first video in the series of videos where I will be showing different techniques of pivot table. In each video, I will be showing about five to six different techniques of pivot table and I hope you will like it. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification for any new videos. Now let us move on to Excel and see the first technique. So this is the data. Suppose if I want to make a pivot table out of it, I can just select this data. So I can press the control A to select entire data. There are about 200 rows of data. Once you select it, go to insert tab and click on pivot table. Here you will have the prompt. So it is already selected the entire range of data from A1 to 201. And here you have the option whether in a new worksheet or the existing worksheet. So I will go with the new worksheet and I'll click OK here. So this is the layout of the pivot table. So you can just drag the field here product or whatever and whichever uh, field you want to summarize or other amount fields you can drag it here and if I want the sales by product and the sales representative I can just drag the sales representative to the column box. So this is how quickly you can make the PO table. So this is good but now if you look at the data the total is about 17,986 that is nothing but this total here. 17,986.69. Now, if I add some data here, suppose if I am adding one more data, I'll just to make it faster, I will just copy this and put the data here. And just to make this uh, some big number, we'll put it maybe to 200,000. And if I come here, I can just right click and refresh the data here, but this did not update. This is because my data range is, if I go to analyze and go to change data source, it is selected up to 201 only. This was our original data range. So this did not pick the extra row. To get this extra row, again, we have to make this 202. And again, if there was more rows coming, so again, we have to add this. To avoid this problem, what we can do is go to the data, select the entire data here and convert this as a table. To convert the data to table, select the entire data and press control T. Now it is prompting whether it has a header. So since we selected the header row also, we can keep this uh, ticked and click OK. And now it has a name as well. Here uh, we can change the table name to say sales data or whatever, or you can leave it as it is. Now if I select the data here and go to insert and click pivot table. So instead of the data range, now it has taken the table name itself. Now if I click OK here and I will drag the product and the net revenue here and you can see there is 217,000 uh, sales is showing. Suppose if I delete that row here at the end and if I come here and uh, refresh it, so it is refreshing to 17,000. Same way, if I if I want to add some data, I can just go here. Maybe I will copy the same data here and I will make this uh, some big number here. And if I just come here and refresh data, so it is going to add up that as well. This is how you convert the data as a table before uh, making the pivot table so that it includes the future uh, data change as well. If you want to change the report uh, layout, select the pivot table, 
go to design menu and here you have report layout show in compact form so this is how it shows and if i say outline form it is different and if you say show in tabular form so this is going to show this way so this is how you can change the layout and also if you want to change the color you can choose uh, different colors or layout here or this one or probably this one so whichever suits you you can uh, choose it here if you want the data to be refreshed when the file is open suppose uh, you are opening the file uh, later and if there is some new data has come and you want this to be refreshed you can just right click go to the pivot table options and here under the data you have refresh data when opening the file so you can click this as soon as the file is open immediately this data gets refreshed with the new data if you look at this data you have uh, some of the cells empty here the cucumber is not sold by andrew or uh, cindy so you can leave this empty or if you want you can display some custom text here so i will right click on this pivot table go to pivot table options and uh, here for empty cells show maybe i'll say no sales you can type anything i'll just type no sales and click okay so here i can see there's a no sales no sales no sales instead of empty cells i can keep it no sales or if, if I want uh, just uh, iPhone or whatever, I can just uh, put the iPhone as well. So this indicates that there is no sales for this product by this salesperson. Suppose if you want to draw the chart for this pivot table, select the pivot table, go to analyze and here I'll choose pivot chart. So you can choose uh, whichever style you want, line or column or bar or whatever. So I'll go with the column chart and click OK here. So this is going to show you this chart. So you can add the data label or whatever you want, you can do it. Hope you like this video. As I said before, this is the first video in the series of videos about uh, pivot table and hope to see you in the second video. If you find it useful, please like this video and also put your comments. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notification on future videos as well. Thank you and see you in the next video.